So in general, if we have a circle centred at the origin with radius r, then its equation is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Now we can write this in a different form by dividing through by r squared. So you could write this as x squared over r squared plus y squared over r squared equals 1 and have it written in this slightly different form. Now, the reason as to why I show you it in that form is because if we were then to extend this to an ellipse, an ellipse is just a stretched circle. A circle that has been stretched in either parallel to the x-axis or parallel to the y-axis. Okay, uh, So the r value here will be different um, for an ellipse. So for an elliptical shape, we could have x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. Okay. If A and B are the same, then this is a circle. If A and B are not the same, then we have an ellipse. Now, if you write that as x over A squared plus y over B squared equals 1, then you can see that this is like having x squared plus y squared equals 1, a circle centred at the origin with radius 1 that has been stretched parallel to the x-axis and parallel to the y-axis. This is the image of the circle centred at the origin with radius 1 after a stretch parallel to the x-axis factor a okay so because you're replacing x with x over a or 1 over a times x that is a stretch parallel to the x-axis factor a and a stretch parallel to the y-axis factor b Okay, so once you've got it in that form, we're going to be able to sketch the ellipse Ellipses are quite difficult, quite a challenge to draw, okay? But the idea then is that it would be going between a and minus a and b and minus b. Yes. <laughs> My cross definitely not to scale. I'm just going to have another go at this part. Something maybe a bit more like that. That's a little bit better, okay? And so that is what your ellipse will look like. So if we can work out the value of A and B, then we can sketch our ellipse. And that's the type of uh, sketch and graph uh, that we're going to be looking at in the next couple of videos.